Okay, so this is very simple natural selection. Originally a PowerPoint presentation re-recorded to be a YouTube video. This is your habitat. Ignore the terrain at the moment. It doesn't really have any significance. It's just an island, so there's no outside influences at the moment. These are your two prey birds. They are exactly the same species. One has a genetic trait that makes it a little bit pudgy and slower. The other one is skinny and fast and thus better suited to get away from a predator. This is your predator. It's a hawk, typical hawk, pointy beak, trap claws. It's there. This is your population. You have, I believe, eight birds here. Uh, two of which that are not expressing the genetic trait to be pudgy. Two of which are carrying the genetic trait to be pudgy but are not displaying it. And the rest are pudgy and displaying the trait. Your predator comes along and wipes out some of your birds. You have one thin bird that is not carrying the trait to be pudgy, and then you've got the two other ones that are. Those breed, and you get this population, which you have two pudgy birds, three birds that have the genetic trait to be pudgy but are not expressing it, and two that do not have the trait at all. Predator comes along, wipes out that. These three birds breed and create this population. Two birds have the genetic trait for being pudgy, but are not expressing it, and one is expressing the trait. Predator comes along again, wipes those out, and you end up with this final population. The ones with the green triangles on them have a benign genetic mutation that does not express itself other than a possible dot here or there on their feathers. It's nothing major. It's just like blue, green, or brown eyes in a human. There is no evolutionary advantage to this genetic trait. It's just there. And this is your ending population, and we'll carry on from here for the next show.